Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to look at a complete install of Zigma NAS. Zigma NAS, if you have not seen the announcement and the updates, is the new name for what had previously been called NAS for free. I don't expect to see a lot of big changes other than a rebranding in this particular version, but we're going to go ahead and install it and take a look. Let's go over to VirtualBox and we'll go ahead and create our Zigma NAS. And this is actually BSD Unix based and it's 64 bit. We are going to give it four gigs of RAM to start with. The boot drive we will set at 16 gigs. And we'll call that Zigma NAS.0 for the initial boot drive. Create, and we'll go ahead and edit our settings. And turn off the floppy drive. Processor, we'll give it two cores. Storage, we will set our, okay, select our Zigma NAS live CD boot disk ISO image, and we're going to change networking to bridged, so it will be on our actual production network in my case. And we'll go ahead and start this up. Going through a pretty standard boot process for a BSD based system. And it's going to go ahead and auto boot from the main screen. If you've installed PFSense before, you may have observed the similarities here. And this should finish its boot process here in just a moment or two. So we're at our text menu and we are going to go ahead and select number one, configure network interfaces. And that is showing the status as up and say yes. If it's up, it's already got an IP address. Uh, I'm not sure why it's picking that subnet. All right, so we will 
set it to DHCP, yes. No for IP version 6. And see if we actually pull a usable IP address. And there we go. 172.16.74.140. And so give me just a moment and we'll switch over to the web GUI. Okay, we are back at our Zygma NAS. And we're going to go ahead and log in for the first time. The default username is admin and the default password is Sigma NAS, all lowercase. And so you can see here, it looks very much like NAS for free that we've taken a look at before. Uh, it does show compiled date of August 23rd. And for reference, today is August 27th. Yes, I am actually recording this at 1.52 in the morning. Uh, Core i7 at 2.3 gigahertz. Oracle VirtualBox is a system because it is a VM. And disk space usage is not configured. So Typically what I do when I install a NAS is I will install it with one disk present, the boot disk, and after the initial install I will go back into VirtualBox and add the storage disks that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes and then restart and do the configuration for those. So just to poke around a little bit, they've got firmware update, network, disks, the ZFS or ZFS as the Brits like to call it. Uh, users and groups, Active Directory, LDAP, services and it seems like this has grown a little bit virtualization so they actually have the built-in virtual box that can be enabled status diagnostics tools and help so Give me a moment, we're gonna switch back to the console. All right. Enter to continue. And we are gonna go ahead and select number nine. Number nine, number nine. Obscure, semi-obscure Beatles reference there for you younger people out there. All right, we are going to go with option number three. We are going to do full OS install on hard drive and data swap for expert. are going to choose well, let's choose the top option and go through this and finish up 
Installation. All right. So now it says you can safely remove the live CD USB and reboot the server. Uh, and it talks about setting up the data partition for use. Do not format drive 80 zero data partition has already been formatted for you as part of the installation. Okay. Enter to continue. Exit. And we're going to actually do option number eight to shut down. Yes. That completes our first video in this series on Zygma NAS. In the next video, we will add a couple of additional data disks. We will get those formatted and set up for the system and we will keep moving and make use of this system and do some testing and have a good time with it. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Feel free to share the video, leave comments below. If you have suggestions for other videos or topics for other videos you'd like to see, please leave those as well. I'm more than happy to make videos on suggested topics within reason. And until next time, this is Jeremy signing out for Practical IT. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.